He was quick-witted, intelligent beyond measure, and a TV icon. The world celebrating the great Jeopardy host Alex Trebek tonight. Trebek peacefully passed away overnight with his family by his side. He bravely battled stage four pancreatic cancer. Our entertainment reporter George Pinocchio takes a look back at Trebek's life and career. Alex Trebek hosted Jeopardy for 36 years. He knew we invited him into our living rooms nightly. So when he had to tell us in March of last year he had stage 4 pancreatic cancer, he gave us the news gently and with hope. I'm going to fight this, and I'm going to keep working. He did both, sometimes working through the pain to bank enough shows for his final appearance coming on Christmas Day. Answer, Daily Double. Trebek began his career in his native Canada, working for the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation. He came here to host The Wizard of Odds in 1973. Several other shows followed, including Double Dare, Pitfall, Classic Concentration, and The New Battle Stars. And here's the man in command, Alex Trebek. He also hosted High Rollers with his co-host and close friend of more than 45 years, Ruta Lee. Surely the Almighty is receiving him and he's joining all of our showbiz buddies and they're having one hell of a drink up there. Ruta says she had a humor-filled, wonderful conversation with Alex on Friday. Peter Marshall, the original host of Hollywood Squares, spoke with him on Saturday. I said, just remember, I love you. And he said, I love you too, Petey. Marshall recalls another phone call from Alex from 1984. He called me one day and he said, hey, Petey, they want me to do Jeopardy. I think it's a little too esoteric. I said, are you crazy? You're going to be on the air for 10 years. Or as it turned out, 36 years for Alex. When he was interviewed for the Archive of American Television in 2007, he was asked how he'd like to be remembered. He's a nice guy, and I like him. And if that's the way they remember me down the line, perfectly happy with that. Alex Trebek? Yeah, he was a nice guy. Whatever happened to him? No. Really? When? I didn't know. On a personal note, I interviewed Alex over the past 25 years or so, and it was always my pleasure. From home, George Pinocchio, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Thank you, George.